to Soho Trent and the world. This is Six Towns Radio. We said we'd have a couple of guests in the studio. First of all, I've got half of the 1975 with me. How are you guys? You okay? Hi, mate. Can I'm we have an introduction? <laughs> I'm Matthew. Yeah. Uh, I'm George. How are you, George? You okay? I'm good, thanks, mate. Sorry if I really didn't introduce myself to you when I met you. Uh, it's okay. I did get your name, but I just wanted the listeners oh. to know whose oh, voice okay. was coming out. That's what it was. So it wasn't a test. We've got, no, quite, no. S- we got quite similar voices. <laughs> yeah. Can you do impressions brothers. of each other? <laughs> All right, I'm George. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just confused <laughs> off our listeners. Sorry, I'm Matty. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Leeds last night. You're on tour at the moment. Um, yeah. Started this week. Leeds last night? Yeah, it was mental. I jumped on a girl's head. <laughs> I think she's all right. She looked pretty mental to start out with, so <laughs> I couldn't have done too much damage. It was really good. They were like crazy. They, were, they went pretty, um, pretty mental in Leeds. Um, so yeah, we just got to involved. clear it up, Matt. You didn't, you didn't assault a girl. No, I jumped <laughs> into the whole crowd. Yeah. It was just obviously there's going to be just one, clarify. a specific point of impact, and that was her head. Yeah, yeah. actually, I saw it on Twitter. And Did I think the girl retweeted and was retweeted <laughs> quite a few times saying, I was the girl! I was the, I was girl. the girl! She obviously <laughs> loved it. The power of social media nowadays. <laughs> You're quite active on there, aren't you? Well, yeah, we never used to be. I think George's phone just vibrated the yeah, table then. Okay. <laughs> There's a bit of social media coming through. <laughs> and we, um, yeah, we, we, um, we always, I think, well, we live in a world, don't we, where kind of accessibility is paramount, especially in the music industry and, and stuff like that. So initially, when we first started out and we were just getting our name out, we just um, put a minimal amount of stuff online and then didn't really have much access to us. And we do use Twitter now, but it's, I suppose it's done in as kind of a minimalist fashion as possible. We're quite private. We're not, we're not I wouldn't like to say we're like private people, like we're shy, you know, but I mean, I think... This we we started doing this band for us. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there's certain elements that we want to keep to ourselves. So we're, the social network element, we don't try to get too personally affiliated mm-hmm. with our fans. We just like to let them know that we appreciate them and where we're going to be and stuff like that. So you won't see it on Twitter this afternoon, Matt saying I've been into Wright's pies. No, and, and no, have a, a peppered slice. Not normally. No, <laughs> we, we get a bit sick of when you kind of hear about like bands tweeting that they're like in the toilet or something like that, mm-hmm. or like oh we've just. Had against us. Yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's not really, that's not how we fell in love with mm-hmm. music. I think there's t- not enough separation. Yeah. yeah as um, soon as you get too close to something, you don't, you know, you don't get as excited about it, you know. Exactly. So. Yeah. Want is a lot stronger desire than obtaining something, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Good point. Um, you in Burzum this afternoon, you've been dropped off. Are we? Um, that's where you are, <laughs> uh, in part oh. of Stoke-on-Trent. It's one of the six towns that make up Stoke-on-Trent. That's, right, that's how it works, isn't mm-hmm. it? There's six places, because I thought there was a city. I thought Stoke was a city, or, but that's well, just based on football. Yeah, it, well, Stoke itself is one of the six towns, as is Hanley. Hanley is the I know city Hanley. centre. That's where the sugar mill is. Yeah, that's Stoke right. Stoke itself now, a lot of it's moving to Hanley step by step over the years, and now they're moving the civic centre. There's a big hoo-ha about this. To Hanley because that is the city centre, um, and are people kicking off. About yeah, it? of course they are because it's been there forever. And it's well, they the, shouldn't. The last leave, part they should Stoke. leave it then. Mm. Do you want me to get involved? I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should make a stand tonight. But you're in Newcastle under line, which Say is not, the not one centre, of the, the what civic centre? <laughs> the, it's the Stoke Civic Centre. Yeah. Stoke Civic Centre. Yeah, Gosh. you are at the Full Moon in Newcastle. Uh, lovely little venue. Um, We've never been there. Yeah. Yeah, no, it should be really good. I'm really excited. Yeah. It's, I think we've sold quite a few tickets. and It's always good playing somewhere you've never played before. You're of excited? Course. Yeah, man. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It's Friday night. You know what I mean? Newcastle, is it? Newcastle yeah. on a Friday night. Is it Friday night? night? See, oh, that's right, another sweet. thing about being on tour. You know <laughs> what day it is, don't you? <laughs> never. We, had, we said this yesterday. We couldn't remember where you were, what day it is, but you, you do remember. Yeah. But I mean, um, do, you, do you love touring? Is there, is there a part of you that likes that side of it? Or are you a band that likes being in the studio? Or is it totally split? Well, we're kind we, of funny because whenever we don't tour for a while, we always like, oh, we've got to go back on tour. But as soon as you start two days in, it just blurs into a, one crazy journey. it's so <laughs> much fun like it is so much fun we take we don't as people we don't take ourselves very seriously but in as as musicians and producers we take ourselves very seriously you know and it's our in it's our craft so i think particularly me and george love being in the studio i mean especially we, when it's so cold and you're yeah, in the van yeah yeah <laughs> but you know what touring's just so f- you don't jump on people's heads in the studio <laughs> so let's ask yeah unless they yeah. So we're going to play um, Chocolate, oh, which cool. is from the new EP, 
Mm. We're going to do that after the ad break. Then we can come back and maybe get you play a song for us. That'd be quite nice. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do it. After the ads, chocolate by the 1975. Get your questions over to George and Matt if you've got any. Six Towns Radio. Amazing stuff, chocolate the 1975, because I've got the guys in the studio today, it'd be crime not getting to do a song. Well, obviously George hasn't got his drum kit in here. I've not, <laughs> I've not I need one of them finger drum <laughs> That'd be wicked. I do it on my phone. That'd be good, some little cymbals, yeah, <laughs> you could do that. But we've got, Matt, we've got the uh, oldest guitar that's ever been in the studio, I reckon. Is it? I reckon, old guitar. This guitar is like 1950. Two? So yeah, sixty years. Wow. Sixty one years. Sixty one years. So right, so okay. Old. So old, isn't it? Is it fifty one years? Is it fifty one? Well the same age as my dad and he's about sixty one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it must be. So it's, it's a really old guitar. So uh, I reckon we should have a chart on the on the wall, you know, the oldest guitar and that one's the first one that goes on it. But top trumps for music. You'll not trump this in it. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. So what are you gonna play for us this afternoon? Um if I can get it in tune, I'm gonna play uh, I'll play uh sex. I'll play sax on the on the acoustic. Okay, well, yeah. let's go for it then. All right, cool. <clears throat> and this is how it starts. Take shoes off in the back of my van. She looks so good When it's just hanging off your back She said use your hands in my spare time Go on, think on It's this tongue of mine, she said She's got a boyfriend anyway So many minutes before I drop you off All we seem to do is talk about sex She's got a boyfriend anyway She's got a boyfriend anyway I love your friend with saw his film He's got a funny face But I like that cause he still looks cool She's got a boyfriend anyway Gonna boyfriend anyway. Now we're on the bed in my room, and I'm about to finish you. Speak. You say no. You say no, no. See to care of you, or could I easily finish you? Speak. You say no. Say no, no, no Now we're just outside of town And she'll make you way down She's got a boyfriend anyway Got a boyfriend anyway, and I'm not trying to stop you, love. If we're gonna do anything, we might as well just. She's got a boyfriend anyway. She's got a boyfriend anyway. You got your tongue pissed anyway. You eat your high top say day. You eat your skinny jeans anyway. Friends anyway, sing them all out a day. They all got back homes anyway. They all got boyfriends anyway. Thank you very much. That Cheers. was Matt, 1975, live in the studio. George, you weren't tempted to do air drums then, I've noticed that. <laughs> no, <laughs> not quite. Not at all, not at all. So, um, in for a treat tonight, I can tell you that your support is a band called The Clique, and we're going to play a song from them right oh, cool. now. Sweet. It's called All The Time, this is what you can expect tonight. And then we'll be back with Matt and George. I've got a couple of questions for you now. Oh, that's sweet. So that was The Clique, All Of The Time. 
Um, those guys are quite cool. Um, my mate Luke is in that band, so I say hello to Luke when you oh, get that. Oh, yeah, I say hello. I like them. It's good. Yeah, yeah um, I won't be there tonight, but uh, we've got some uh, tickets to give away this afternoon. Um, we're going to do that before four o'clock. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's a sellout tonight. If you've got tickets, you're going to be in for a fun night because you guys are up for it tonight, aren't you? you know yeah, I, mean? I don't know. Is it sold out? I don't I think. It, I don't think it is sold out. Yeah. I think. I think because we thought. I think our agent might have thought we didn't know the capacity yeah. of the venue. Which there's quite a lot of tickets gone, yeah. but I'm sure. Sure, if you want to come down, you'll be able to get in. Like oh, I'm sure the next because Friday night is a big night out in Newcastle anyway. You know, I mean, they all come out from all the little villages around Newcastle on a Friday. Yeah, to get tanked up, it's a fun one. <laughs> uh, quite a nice venue. Again, in Newcastle, you've got uh, the full moon, the brown jug, just up that little quarter, and you get some good live acts down oh, there. Cool. I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, a couple of questions we've had. Let's go through them. Um, for both of you, this one is. Um, can you give us a couple of new bands to look out for oh. that you've been listening to? I know you always get asked things like we're that. The wor- we're the worst because yeah. we've just been doing our albums, so we've not been listening to anything. Any new bands? Is this yeah. for a girl or for a boy? Yeah. Um, this is for a boy, Lee. I don't know if that makes any difference. <laughs> yeah. Um, deep, d- um, there's cool bands like Deep Valley are quite cool. And we we're just big fans of hip hop, so we yeah. just say like ASAP Rocky, Kendrick uh, Lamar. Yeah. And then like we just say listen to like. Loads of weird, obscure DJs like yeah. Andrea and Bareface, Jai Paul, yeah. Andrea. Um, yeah, sorry, that, that sh- we should be really good at that question, but we don't really know that many. I mean, we're, we're friends with a couple, there's a couple of cool bands like the Mo, like Palmer Violets and stuff like that, and we've started, we've seen them a couple of times. And yeah, I don't know, there's, there's loads, just kind of go on our YouTube, and then I'm sure you'll get links to about a thousand other bands who are <laughs> Swim Deeper are quite good. Yeah, it must be difficult though when you've been locked away in the studio to listen to music. You know, yeah, you, you must get stuff. It's funny because you listen to stuff and it makes you paranoid if you're like, well, sometimes if you're along the w- way of doing something, and then yeah, it just kind of can be distracting. Sometimes. Yeah, you just think, oh well, you don't want to get taken away in what other people are doing at the time. Do you know what I mean? Because then you won't be creating something that's really that original or true to what you're doing so. I can understand that do you get lost in it you know because you've been recording it and you go over and over again and then you go out touring the same songs do you get lost in a song sometimes yeah. well it's our lives yeah. I mean it's not like we're not kind of this band isn't like a commodity of, of our lifestyle it's 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 yeah. our only form of expression mm-hmm. and has been for like 10 years you know this is the only thing we know how to do and the only thing we've wanted to do for 10 years so our music isn't really uh, it's a c- default theme tune that we have yeah. going on yeah, it's like the screen <laughs> saver to our minds <laughs> I always so. wonder that you know yeah so we we are constantly <laughs> lost in our band that's what we are oh fantastic I love the logo the 1975 logo very simple but yeah, yeah. Really effective it's very it chic. was originally based on Chanel yeah the Chanel vibe and then it's mm-hmm. kind of evolved a little bit but yeah no I, I like that as well Thanks. what's the other band names before the 1975 oh, how long have you got <laughs> um, big sleep, the slowdown, drive like I do. I mean, they were all totally different reincarnations. Some of them were different lineups. Uh-huh. A lot of them were completely different musical projects. I mean, the 1975. I think it, it's difficult because a lot of people do, well, not a lot of people, but a handful of people know our stuff from beforehand, and then they know that we've kept some of that material. But everything we've released as the 1975 is is very, you know, kind of all of the new stuff has been totally redone and. And it's all a kind of revamped musical project. Um, I talked to Matt yesterday, George, and we talked about Michael Jackson. Um, yeah. Big influence on a lot of musicians, um, and the bad era in particular. For um, sure. Were you a Michael Jackson fan as well? To be honest, I was a latecomer. I didn't mm-hmm. really grow up with him as as, as, as Matt did. But, um, yeah, obviously you, you can't dispute it, really, can yeah. you? Like, as soon as you hear any of his songs, you just... I, don't know. I, d- I can't imagine anyone finding out Michael Jackson and then just kind of carrying on with their life. As <laughs> Not really caring about <laughs> it. Yeah, he's so. just we, we, he's a massive influence on our mu- on our music. Well, he was such a massive influence on me as a person. So then, when me and George and everybody and the boys started making music, they had no choice but to kind of yeah. I kind of yeah. came across well exploring deeply into his music when I was at college kind of studying the production of it more than anything and Matty was at home learning the dance moves <laughs> <laughs> so then we came together oh we want to see that so true, so, true. So, then we, <laughs> so then we came together and, and I'm really good as well like proper <laughs> good <laughs> that's never going to be seen though is it 
Oh no, I don't know. Give me, <laughs> give me a vodka. I'll be moonwalking. Where did it all go table. from? Celebrity dancing off, whatever it's called. Oh yeah, something celebrity <laughs> come here. Dan, Dan. Celebrity come here, dance come with me. Come here, dance with me. <laughs> That's what we be called by then. Yeah, you know what really. I mean, they will evolve. Um, well, let's play some Michael Jackson. We mentioned yeah, Human yeah. Nature. Sure. Yeah, um, we've got Human that's, Nature. That's not off bad, of course, but uh, it's a tune. Tune. Getting involved with that song there, Michael Jackson, Human <laughs> Nature. No dance moves though from Matt. No, sorry. He was tempted. We did a slow dance. We did a slow little one. He didn't see it. (laughs) That was beautiful. And uh, we've been brought tea into the studio. Yeah, it's a nice brew. Mm. Thanks to Rob for the brew. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, Rob. Yeah, Yeah. lad. You on about tea in the van? This is not very rock and roll. Listen, mate. (laughs) (laughs) Tea's a big part (laughs) of your life if you're from Northern England. As anybody is. Me and George love tea. We love drinking and girls and partying but during the day we like tea Love and it. it's become a big thing and yorkshire tea, tea. when we were, we were recording the album so there's constant kind of this perpetual tea mm-hmm. service when you're in the studio and um we started drinking yorkshire Doesn't tea do good things for your bladder no it wasn't good but <laughs> well, we just drank yorkshire tea consistently and now i've just been made a couple of tetleys for the first time by rob and i'm actually really enjoying it so I've gone back on myself now. So while you're around the country, are you going to partake in local delicacies and local drinks? Oh, we and we local love it. We're we we're, we're quite adventurous with our food mm. and stuff. So it's probably awesome. gonna yeah. it's probably gonna bite us in the arse. One day, <laughs> maybe. Don't know if you can say that word. But yeah, yeah they will bite? bite us somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've we've got you something in the studio. Um, have you? From Stoke on Trent, you've got to try oat cakes. You go on then. Um, I'm sure I've had an oat cake. You can't have it on its own, really. I'll give it to you. You can. If you want to. Oh, no, I've had these. Yeah, yeah. you can have, like, uh, it's like a pancake, isn't it? There's yeah, yeah. Obviously, four of you in the band, there's six oak okay. You can give Ant one as well, the tour manager. I know he's a big fan. And then <laughs> yeah, we'll one, eat One these. of you can have two. <laughs> we do eat. We just had a, we just had a pasty thing yeah. from somewhere who's apparently quite infamous in this town. Yeah, uh, we can mention Wright's Pies, but we've got to say other pie shops are oh, available. Oh, the pie shops are available, but Wright's <laughs> Pies are quite nice. And so your other tea, other teas are available, and every other brand name we've probably mentioned in the last hour. It's okay, it's all good. Uh, we've got some adverts coming up that mention stuff that we affiliate. <laughs> no, they'll sort it <laughs> out, redeem it. <laughs> Buy this. <laughs> yeah, we affiliate to these people, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to play, uh, take us up to the adverts, while these guys munch on an oat cake, uh, the 1975 intro, Bareface remix oh, I cool. played yesterday. Sweet. I do love this. Um, if you're sitting down, this is a song for Ava Brew 2, and just sit down and chill out yeah, it's beautiful Six Towns Radio so before the ad break uh, we played uh, the remix from Bareface uh, of intro by the 1975 deep it's nice um, any more remix in the pipeline we should uh, talk about in the pipeline mm. I don't know there's yeah, some, been some had, really good ones yeah we had some great ones last year we had uh, that Andrea that we mentioned just earlier he did a really cool one he's a French guy a similar kind of thing mm-hmm. just kind of Cheap kind of R and B. That's uh, kind of the scene I was talking to you yesterday, yeah, wasn't it? Like yeah. the kind of before we put the records out in August. That was that was the kind of scene that we were flirting around as fans and starting to kind of embrace as producers. So all of our remixes have been from that kind of scene, right? Like yeah. um like Andrea, Blackbird, Blackbird, this Ukrainian or I, I apologize if he gets <laughs> if he is this, I don't know where he's from. I think he's a Ukrainian Lithuanian guy yeah. called Liar who did an amazing remix of Sex. Um, I think we're, we're trying to get um, Synchro to remix Chocolate. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah. He's I just found that out this morning, actually. Jeremy was talking oh. to me about it. Sorry, there's just a little private conversation. Yeah, so can you carry on? Um, <laughs> but yeah, Synchro, who <laughs> we you love. You know about him? You know, you sent, tell him about him? Well, I told him, then he sent me an email like, oh, yeah. It's oh. interesting to watch you pair talk about music, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just, um, yeah, well, we're just kind of, we've got the reins of everything so mm-hmm. even from the remixes we're very kind of selective who we choose to do it and and yeah so yeah so that'd be sick though right yeah. Synchro, yeah. that sounds good that sounds good um festival season uh, we mentioned uh, a little bit about it yesterday mm-hmm. and somebody's asked a question about um you know you went festivals yourself um over the years we as well did. as playing a couple of little ones last year so what are the essentials for festivals what oh to take? Gosh. Yeah, take with you. Yeah, <laughs> Don't ask him. Money. He's the most unprepared yeah. person. As, I a went b- as a band or a punter? I went to Leeds one year when I was about 15 with no tent, no sleeping bag, no bag and a tenner. And I lost a tenner on the Thursday. <laughs> I lost your car keys. Oh no, that was the worst day of my life. Once I went to Reading just to go and see. Uh, there was I went to see it, kind of go on like a date 
with a girl just for the day because I could get in when we just got signed. I got like press tickets. I went down and I had a leather jacket on that had a hole in its pocket and I lost my pho- my car keys and my phone. So I had these three days. My tour manager's not heard the story. He's staring at me like this. <laughs> I was there for like two days, like walking to and from pay phones, like a mile and a half away and in the middle of Reading. And I had this old VW Golf that I couldn't get into. And it took me three days and about £500 to get home from Reading oh, back to wow. Manchester. So make sure you take a money, <laughs> <laughs> clothes spare with no s- holes on it. Spare keys. Car keys. <laughs> yeah, spare Maybe car keys. Not. Spare phone. Um... Yeah, and just make, well, I reckon. I don't know, it depends, everything. though. If it's sunny, mm-hmm. you can sleep outside mm-hmm. and live off nothing. If it's wet, you just need to go home. Yeah. I can't really deal with it. Yeah, so. I can't. I went a couple last year and it was just wet, rainy, muddy. It's not good. But uh, there's ways at festivals you can make money if you collect the cups. Yeah. Have you seen those guys? Oh, oh I, hate those guys. <laughs> I hate those guys. I hate those guys. <laughs> and they're normally about 13. Aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, dwarfed. Uh, can I have uh, your cup? <laughs> <laughs> just you finish dwarfed with that? by this mountain of cups. It's like, oh, yes, I'm using my cup. I might want to be sick of it. You know? <laughs> he's not enjoying the festival it's really either. He's, he's just walking sorts. around. He's like he's got to do his job. <laughs> he's doing he's a job. He's paid to go and pick up cups. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but you're a festival. I think what it is, I think some people pay the ticket price to get in the festival so say you pay um, 75 quid they probably make that over the weekend and more that's the thinking and watch some bands ah, people think like that I'm so n- I'm not that savvy at all I just think I can go and lie down for like a couple of hours <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking forward to all that because like, you know, this tour goes on for a while and then you know you're probably going to do some more gigs before festival season so it's going to be a long ride for you well yeah, we no, go we're going out to the states before mm-hmm. we before we come back to do festivals so yeah we're going out to do well South by Southwest you can call that a festival I guess it is but, it's uh, massive mate it's massive yeah crazy um, South by Southwest and then we're going to do some more shows but we've got t- we're going on tour with Tudor Cinema Club right at the end of this tour in Europe like we go we drive straight to Zurich after our London show and then we di- we head out on like kind of 40 four, 12, 12 days, days. Them, and then straight to America Woohoo! I just so can't keep up. Crazy. I know, me neither, <laughs> mate. I'm not even going to see my my house like forever. So. Next time you're in Stoke, you're more than free to pop in, oh, have we'll another brew, in, yeah, and uh, we'll chill out and, and play, play some more songs. But, you know, thank you very much. No, no worries, thank so, you, mate. mate. Cheers, man. It's been fun. Um, we're going to play The City. We're going to play uh, next year from Two Door Cinema Club. And Marika Hatman. Well, oh, yeah, Marika. Yeah, Thanks, do you like Marika Hatman? Yeah, yeah, man. She's, yeah. We love her. She's flying out to South by Southwest with us. She's living in our house. Amazing. We're going to play a new single, Cannibal. So, yeah, all good stuff. Thank Thank you very much. Nice one, mate. We love music. You are locked into Six Towns Radio.